So it has been roughly one year since we uh, moved to this location and uh, we are a full-time school, a full-time martial arts school. And I thought, uh, and I'm gonna make a short video about it. Never really did uh, video blogs or anything like this. But uh, I'm here at the dojo. It's what, it's 3.30, getting ready for the kickboxing beginners and then kickboxing intermediate advanced classes. And then Mike, uh, Mike Javiado, our BJJ Jiu-Jitsu coach, will uh, teach the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu from 8 p.m. But the video is not about that. It's about the fact that one year ago, Ah, big thing. Uh, one year ago, I quit my job, right? And I, uh, I started doing this, show up every day and just do work around the dojo, clean up, paperwork, advertising, websites, uh, once in a while, private classes during the day, running errands, go to the bank, buy stuff, whatever. You, got, you know how it goes. Um, but the most in interesting part is that, you know, sometimes you read about how you got a dream about what you want to do in life. Uh, uh, and if you don't dream it, it's not going to happen and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but at one point I was reading, I'm, I'm sure you guys know this, I was reading about uh, this thing that says that if your dreams are not big enough to scare you, then you're not dreaming the right dreams. I mean, you're not wishing the right goals and wishes. You know, you should have goals and dreams that are so high and far up there that just thinking about them, you would be like, oh, wow, that's crazy. And for me, that's what it was. That's what it was for me. Even 30 years ago in Romania, when I started training in martial arts. First few lessons, first few times I practiced, I instantly knew that this is something I can just never get sick of it. I can just keep doing it, doing it forever. I, I, and it's just so, I don't know, interesting for me that I can just do it forever. And then I decided that I'm gonna keep doing that no matter what. And at that time I was training in a, in the forest. Like I was just four or five guys uh, going out in the woods and just practicing with one of the guys. He had more experience. He was older than us, like few. I was 13, 14. And our teacher was 18 and uh, a brown belt in judo and just had a little bit of Shotokan knowledge. Anyway, so time went by and I always wanted to have my own martial arts school and just teach and just be focused on this kind of business and train of course and stay in shape as long as I can and inspire people and help and so I, uh, I always had a school I always I was always teaching right I was always uh, you know being involved in this but this is the real deal now. Now, I mean, we never had, I never had a, a, a full-time location with a very nice dojo in a very nice you know, shopping center in the biggest city in Canada, in Toronto, right? And it's just incredible. And I think that I should just stop and think about it because this is just nuts, right? I mean, it's not like, you know, somebody put me here or this has just happened. I, we made it happen, right? We, we made it happen. And going back to what I said that dreaming big, uh, that you should be scared of your dreams and you should be like, just thinking about it, your heartbeat should go up and just have a rush. Well, that's what I'm still having. Like one year I opened this, this location and every day 
when I come here or before teaching classes or after teaching classes or at home in the evenings or anywhere I, I, just in my head I'm always like super excited I might not show it all that always because I'm not that type you know I'm more like quiet and you know kind of you know, for myself but I am super excited I mean sometimes people tell me you're living your dream and that's the reality I am living my dream right now yes it's not it's not perfect like um, there's struggle there is work there is a lot of things to do to get to that point where you know I want to be but I am living my dream like I wake up in the morning I come to the dojo I do only things related to martial arts uh, whatever it is uh, not just train not that's not just teaching of course anything else like uh, you know cleaning the dojo and uh, you know online and advertising and some paperwork even sometimes but it's true it's true if you dream big and you take some chances like don't wait for the right moment I, I mean maybe don't don't take it this in the wrong way like yes you have to be prepared but don't over prepare forever 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 right it's like it's never gonna be perfect never you are always gonna have to struggle with things and you know so at this point in my life like a year ago you know uh, past 40 I just decided that I'm not gonna wait uh, there's nothing to wait for me like I just I'm just gonna go whatever it is whatever I desire a better car a business a house a family kids I'm just gonna go right and that's what we did like a couple of years ago we decided to have a child and we did and it's amazing then we decided to have our own full-time dojo and we did and it's amazing right and then we bought better cars and you know we now the next plan is whatever to buy a house and but that's you know but not that's not what I want to talk about the house and the cars it's your goals and dreams that's what I want to talk about it's it's simple but in the same time it's very very hard now this is a subject that it's over talked like you're gonna see millions of videos and articles and books and how you should go for it and I don't have a secret to tell you I don't have nothing to tell you better than those you know books or videos and I can just show you my story and tell you my story and my students and my friends and relatives and family they they know that how crazy I am about martial arts and karate and teaching and this and that but you should also know that this comes with a very high price like I am here every day till 9 30 10 p.m. and I start in the morning at 10 11 yes I have more you know freedom in the morning it's true but it's always harder to work in the evening so I'm here every evening I teach Saturday from 8 a.m. till 2 p.m. Sunday same thing 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. so I'm here in the weekends too but it's it doesn't feel like work for me of course it feels more like being who I am and being what you know what I was meant to be always so it feels pretty natural for me to do this it's not you know it doesn't bother me yes I can get tired I can get exhausted and you know whatever but I am gonna still show up and do my best and but the main thing is that every day every evening when I wake up I know that this is what I want to do right and that's just keep me going and then also you know the our classes are growing our location it's amazing our dojo is pretty cool like for example last night in the Kyokushin adults class the mats were full 
24 or 26 students on the mats and about eight, nine students missing. So that class is full. I have to start another class or something, do something about it. So we are doing pretty good. The kids' classes are growing. We're adding classes as we go. But I just wanted to make this video and I didn't plan this video. I was just sitting at my desk and answered some emails and uh, I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a video trying to just express some feelings and but I also thought uh, today, today, I'm not sure if today or around this day, around this week, it's our one year anniversary of this location, right? And I thought, you know what, it's kind of interesting. It's I have a couple hours before the classes starts. I'm going to have to go do some cleaning and stuff. But anyway, I thought, you know, it would be nice to talk about the fact that one year ago, I decided to go for it. I had help from people, I had help from my family, from you know my wife sent by me to, from my partners, but I had to decide, right? And I said, I'm gonna quit my job, my full-time job that was pretty secure, and I'm gonna go into unknown with no savings and nothing. And I was like, I'm just gonna dance. I'm gonna just rock and roll. And I'm still dancing, so it's not over, it's a war. Uh, it, but I intend to win it, right? So I just want to let everybody know, whatever, who's watching. And I'm, I'm not doing this video as any whatever, a motivational video, or it's just for us, for my friends, my you know, students, my family, that I'm not going to stop, right? This is not this is gonna go on right I'm gonna teach the classes I'm gonna be here every day I will make sure that I give the best instruction possible and make people work you know train learn have fun and together we will grow as a dojo and as a person as human beings okay and that is my plan for the next I don't know how many years 50 years right I am 44 now and I intend to keep going like as long as my health it will you know stay like this and hopefully my son is gonna take over and my wife too and help me and my students soon we're gonna have a bunch of brown and black belts in the karate classes young 14 15 16 18 20 year old ones and our dojo and our martial arts school will flourish because we have, I believe, the passion and the dedication and the good energy with us. And every time in my 30 years of martial arts, when I was, was focusing only on training and teaching, my life was doing really well, like everything was just building up. So I feel the same momentum going on, the same momentum of build up, of growth. And yes, there are ups and downs, but overall it's good. And my message for all who want to, you know, train in martial arts or teach martial arts or not just martial arts, any business. If you have a gut for it, and if you have a skill for it, and if you have a passion for it, go for it. Like, go like there's no tomorrow. And you will never regret it. It's not easy. But you will enjoy it. Post.